ourselves here. There will be discussion. There will be no questions or, or comments from the floor. So, that being said, uh, we'll get started here. Uh, Glacier Sam's got three applications here. We'll let them make the presentation in the order they would like. Can you hear me okay? Good. Uh, good morning. My name is uh, Wayne Steinmetz. I'm an employee with Glacier Sands. I was born and raised in Chippewa Falls, a little bit to the north. Uh, spent uh, a career in the Air Force, 20 years. Came back to Chippewa Falls 18 years ago and uh, worked there in the local area for the past uh, 18 years. And most recently have uh, become an employee with Glacier Sands. Uh, on behalf of Glacier Sands, we take this, we appreciate this opportunity. Uh, recognize the, the board, uh, Dale, Ron, and Joe. Uh, today, we want to tell you a little bit about us, what we have uh, planned for our projects in Buffalo County. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about who we are, uh, the family that owns the business, and. Uh, Ryan Thomas, one of the owners, will, will do that a little bit. We want to talk about our core values. What's important to us as we uh, partner up with Buffalo County, the citizens of Buffalo County, to uh, complete these projects and uh, to, uh, once again, partner up with you to have an impact on your economy. Uh, we uh, will then uh, move into uh, what some of those, those projects are, the mine sites. Tom Hubbard, our project manager, will do that. He'll give some detail uh, about each one of the mine sites, as well as the uh, rail and loadout facility in the Cochran Fountain City area. Uh, and then uh, once Tom finishes up with that, I'll come back and uh, there clearly are some challenges for us as a uh, organization to uh, to work with you once again the, the community here um, to uh, to see these things to fruition uh, and then uh, we'll take a look at the process moving forward what uh, what we can do uh, in working with you uh, and then at the end uh, have some obviously some time for uh, question and answers. Uh, at this time, I'll turn it over to Ryan, and Ryan can tell you a little bit. <coughs> well, my name is Ryan Thomas. Um, can you hear me there? I <coughs> just want to talk to you a little bit about Glacier Sands and, uh, and, and about us. Uh, Glacier Sands was, we established Glacier Sands in, in 2011, uh, sometime in, uh, about the middle of 2011. It's a Wisconsin company. Uh, we have offices in, in Omni. We, uh, uh, just a little bit about, about the background of our, our family, we, we uh, my father and I and, uh, and some other uh, family members have owned a fraction company in Texas. We, uh, we, we started that in 2003. Um, previous to that, we were in the turf grass business since 1969. Uh, my great-grandfather and grandfather uh, and father started that company and, and uh, we, uh, we actually just sold it. So that 2003, um, this, the frac sand company that we owned uh, and operated, we sold last year in April. So uh, Glacier Sand is, is a, a, a new new company, new entity, but, but uh, we have we have plenty of experience. Um, uh, let's see, you know, we have a, we in our in our uh, grass company that we had, we we were across most of the south, the southern United States. Uh, in every one of our locations, we, we always encourage our managers uh, to be involved in the community. Uh, we did things like uh, uh, put in grass for little league fields. We would actually take grass off of an NFL football field and bring it back and put it on a little, little league field or a small, small school in the area. And uh, I'll tell you, the kids were happy to be playing on the same grass that you know, the NFL guys were playing on or, or, the, or college or in there. Um, that's some of the, you know that's some of the things we've done. We've always been active in our communities in every location that we've had um, across the nation, and uh, uh, we've also been uh, uh, real 
estate developers in our in our area uh, for many years. I guess that's my all. all I have here. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, to continue on, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what our core values are, what we see as important uh, to us and the way we conduct our business here in Buffalo County and interacting with the citizens of Buffalo County. Uh, core values. Uh, core values is the principle that guides the internal conduct of an organization and then how they, they use that conduct or how they conduct themselves with the community. Uh, right out in front, we want to be good neighbors. We want to listen to the citizens of Buffalo County in conducting our business. It's, it's absolutely important to us and we want to have that interaction uh, with you. We encourage uh, everybody, not only the folks that uh, obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a hot topic in the area. We realize that. There are folks that are for frac sand mining uh, and there are folks that, uh, that are, are not for it, that are in opposition. And we want to continue or we want to have dialogue with folks from both sides of the, uh, of the topic. Uh, that will only help us to develop a better project and uh, uh, just a, a better uh, situation overall. Uh, continuing on with that and that uh, mind, uh, we're, uh, we're committed to, to delivering local jobs. Um, we, uh, not, not only at the, uh, the mine sites, but at the uh, rail and loadout facilities. Uh, and we will be having uh, some open houses, informational meetings to, uh, to tell you more about what those jobs are and uh, how we can impact the economy here in Buffalo County. Um, although, most, although Glacier Sands is focused on, on producing a quality product that we can then uh, pass on to the industry, uh, we are also concerned with what kind of, uh, what we add to the economy here, what, to, what kind of jobs we're providing, uh, and uh, again, what, uh, what we're doing for the community and putting money into the community. And uh, uh, we will also do uh, what is necessary to protect the environment. The environment and the protection of it is, is always uh, on our mind and, and, and how we want to protect that, not only the environment, but the health and safety of the people that, that work at our facilities and the citizens of Buffalo County. Um, the way we look at it, uh, we, we are and we have to be stewards of uh, the natural resources, in this case, uh, of the land in Buffalo County and of the natural resource uh, silica sand. Uh, we want to be able to conduct our business, and at the end of the day, at the end of uh, a mining area, we want to be able to return that land and re reclaim it back to uh, a state in which it was before, and, in, and in, we really want to make it better than what it was. Um, I like to think that, that we want to do uh, the, th the three R's. We want to be respectful of the environment, we want to be responsible to the environment, and we want to be responsible to the citizens of, uh, of Buffalo County in conducting that business. And we want to do it in a safe manner. Um, we're committed, Glacier Sands is committed to being a, uh, in, in the community and being a part of your community for years and decades uh, to come. Uh, Glacier Sands is prepared to invest a lot of money, infrastructure, um, equipment, facilities into the community. It's not something that we want to set up and only be here for a short time. We're here for the long run. Uh, and we, we want to be a part of the community. Uh, and being a part of the community, we want to be good neighbors. And with that, we really want to listen to what, to what you have, uh, what you have to say. Um, we will be transparent throughout this whole process. Um, we want to be able to tell you what we're doing in forums like this today, and not only in these kinds of forums, 
but in open houses, informational meetings, other uh, meetings at the, at the local levels, at the town uh, meetings, um, we, we want to be able to share with you what our plans are and how we uh, plan to conduct business uh, in Buffalo County and again with the citizens of Buffalo County. Uh, well, we want to uh, we want to work with the landowners, not just the landowners that we have leases with, and that uh, you know we're going to mine it. Um, that would be that would be easy to do if if we wanted to do that. We don't. We, we want to communicate with the neighbors of the landowners. We want to uh, talk to the folks that are once again that are for for this operation and for those that uh, are not in, in favor of it. We want to be able to tell you what we're doing. We want to be transparent. We want to be good neighbors. We want to listen. Uh, at this time, uh, I'll turn it over to our project manager, Tom. And, uh, Tom can address the, uh, the projects or the uh, applications that we have in at this time. <coughs> Good morning. My name is Tom Hubbard from Cedar Falls Building Systems, and I am the project manager for Glacier's Hands on these projects. And as Wayne mentioned, this is an overview of what we've got. Uh, the town of Gilmington is one of the mines that we've already met with the uh, board on already, so we won't be talking about that one so much today. But the town of Montana the town of Mondovi are both uh, mine sites with wash plants, and then the town of Milton is where the dry plant and the rail load out will go in. Uh, we'll be going so. Um, the town of Montana's mine site, we're mining 446.56 acres from Seven Sands LLC. The next slide I'll show you will show you the overall property areas, but we are not mining all of that property. We are only mining 446.56 acres. Uh, we're proposing 190 loads per day out of the wash plant, and we're going to reclaim as the mining progresses. We'll probably only have five to ten acres open at any one time. We'll mine five acres as we complete that and we start the next five acres, we'll be reclaiming as we go. So as we strip that next five acres, we'll reclaim the area behind it and uh, topsoil it. Uh, truck route out of that plant is going to be to the south on County Highway U to E, on to uh, State Truck Highway 88 and on down to uh, 35 to get into the the Milton site. Uh, the wax plant is proposed to run 24 7. Uh, this is the aerial of the site. You can see the different properties. There's different color for each of the seven properties. Uh, again, we are not mining all the area, and you can see we didn't shoot topo on all the area. We only shot it uh, on the areas that we're looking at taking. Some of it extended into the woods, but we really aren't going up into the woods very much at all. I think there's only one site that we're going to take some woods out that. That would be uh, between uh, the board property, which is the, the dark blue one there, and the green one, which is uh, Alleman's property, uh, to be able to get the rest of that hill off. Otherwise, the rest of it, we're going to go up to the woods. We'll drop out at a three to one slope and then carry it out at a much flatter grain, uh, like a 2% slope, to try to intercept where uh, existing land is. This is just another picture so you can see the areas that we're actually mining. So the properties you can see are the straighter lines and the, the more uh, uh, curved 